This is Erica. Okay, thank you. Sharon, hi, what a, what a nice surprise. Hello, Erica. You didn't do that. But the, uh, no, me? No, 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 I, I'm far too busy to do something like decorate a Christmas tree. Not a girl. <laughs> uh, so, what can I do for my favorite boss today? Actually, I came to ask about your Christmas wish. My Christmas wish? Your professional Christmas wish. Oh, well, if that's the case, then is executive vice president too much to ask? <laughs> <laughs> well, as luck may have it, I happen to have some leverage with the big red guy. All you have to do is help me out with my Christmas wish. Ta-da! Hmm. An in-flight magazine? Are you uh, buying a plane? Mm-mm. The airline. Experience an old-fashioned Alaskan Christmas at the Garland Inn. Garland? Apparently, it's this adorable little town that's all about Christmas. Yeah, I, uh... The inn has its own observatory. You're into astrology, right? Yeah, uh, astronomy is a hobby of mine. Every year, the owner invites the kids to track Santa's sleigh ride through a telescope. Oh, wow, that's, uh, that's really something. Mm, it even has its own blog. Talk about genius marketing. Mm. Uh, sure, no offense, mm -hmm. but why do you want to invest in a boutique inn in the middle of nowhere? That's exactly the point. With our new Caribbean resort, we already have our summer vacations covered. I want something to cater to our winter vacations. So, I'd really love if you could have this wrapped up by Christmas. You can do that, right? Is, is this even for sale? Well, it will be after my future executive vice president works her Christmas magic. After all, Sharon Ferris gets what Sharon Ferris wants. Yes, yes that's the spirit. Mm -hmm. I'll have my assistant arrange your travel. Mm. Uh, my travel? You didn't have any holiday plans, did you? Well, I was going to go visit my parents and go stargazing, but... Uh... So you're free. Mm -hmm. I find it's best if we deliver these deals in person. Plus, I have a small list of things I want you to check out to assess the property. No. Oh, <laughs> yeah, it's small. So we're good? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. You can count on me. <laughs> that a girl. Bye for now. Bye. Oh. Thank you. Mm -hmm. If you're calling to cancel dinner tonight, I can't hear you. I'm calling to make sure you save me some of that fancy apple and pear thing that's on the menu. The, um... The pear and apple galette with walnut streusel? Mm-hmm. With ice cream. With all of the ice cream. Uh-oh. What's wrong? My incredibly demanding and entitled boss just asked me to go buy her an inn. And? The inn is in Alaska. Garland, Alaska. Andy. Andy. Welcome to the world famous Garland Inn. Mr. and Mrs. Larson. Oh, please, it's just Alana. <laughs> and Oscar. Uh, and I am Andy. Well, this is even nicer than the brochure. Oh, just you wait. Uh, we like to call this the great room, place to sit, enjoy the fire, read a book, take in the view. We serve mulled wine and eggnog every night at five. And if you're hungry, Patty's Diner is just steps away in the center of town. Oh. The building has been completely restored. And some of our guests prefer to spend their evenings out here. A fire pit. Uh, how cozy. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, it is Alaska. We often have fires going on around here. But uh, if you turn this way, you will see my true pride and joy, the Garland Observatory. You know, if you get lucky, 
you may just catch a glimpse of one of Santa's pre-Christmas runs. It just so happens that Garland runs smack in the middle of his flight path. <laughs> <laughs> Love that blog. <laughs> uh, you know, she's read every entry to our granddaughter. Mm. Oh, and that bit about Rudolph having a direct line to the National Weather Service? <laughs> How did you even come up with that? Well, what can I say? That's Garland for you. Um, can you you need to move the camera? No, all, all I can see is your chin. Oh. Yeah, there he is. <laughs> What's up, kiddo? Uh, well, I know it's your busy season, so I don't want to keep you, but I wanted to let my main investor know that we got our first official guests of the Christmas season. And here I was just talking to the mayor about how tourism's been slow. <laughs> so, uh, how many reservations are there? Well, uh, you know, we just opened up the bookings. Uh -huh. But I did get a great write-up in Venture Airlines in-flight magazine. I mean, it's um, less of a travel magazine and more of a handout that you get with your little bag of pretzels. But, uh, hey, every little bit helps, right? You'll never get anywhere unless you take those little steps. That's what I always say. <laughs> Dad, do you think Mom doesn't know that you eat cookies all day? Why do you think all she keeps in the house is reindeer food? If I have to eat any more celery and carrots. Hey, Cousin Andy, how's it going? Good tidings we bring to you and your kin. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> Looking as festive as ever, Joy. Everyone's already assembled in the conference room. And you have a call waiting on line four, something about real estate. You listen to our managing director over here? She wants a real tight ship. <laughs> I mean, a tight sleigh, don't you, Frank? <laughs> you want me to have him call you back, or? Put them through if they can make it quick. Oh. Son, I better fly. Dad, try and eat some of the celery. over here. Maybe I'm overreacting. You know how Sharon gets. I mean, she's gonna get bored and decide to throw her money at something else soon. I mean, remember last summer when she just had to buy an amusement park? Or maybe it's fate. Right. Oh, think about it. It's Christmas, you're single, and your boss just happens to fly you to your ex-boyfriend's hometown. I just really want the promotion. The ex-boyfriend, who, in my humble opinion, as your best friend, set the bar so high that it made you the pickiest single lady in Seattle. Please. You're not the least bit curious? One, I am not the pickiest, right? I just happen to be fine, well, mostly fine, being on my own. And secondly, last I heard, Andy was dating that doctor, so no. I don't care. Well, I may or may not have done some online reconnaissance. Stuff. And apparently that doctor lives in San Francisco now, heads up some sort of surgery at a hospital there. Well, maybe they're long distance. Although, Andy wouldn't consider long distance with me when he moved back to Alaska. <laughs> oh yeah, you definitely don't care. <laughs> It's Andy. Oh, Erica, I miss you. <laughs> ha ha. Wait, wait. Hello? Erica McNichols phone. And just for that, the rest of this is mine. Hello, Claire Collin calling. I'm the executive assistant of Frank Holiday of Holiday Shipping. Isn't that his father's company? Shh. Uh, yeah, hi, Claire. To what do I owe the pleasure? Well, Mr. Holiday has been speaking with your employer, and he wanted me to let you know that he is very interested in hearing your proposal. Wait, Mr. Holiday owns the inn? No, Mr. Holiday is just an investor. The inn is actually owned by his son, Andy. Andy? Yes, but as Mr. Holiday has a significant financial stake, 
He is open to hearing whatever offer your firm wants to make. Hello? Are you still there? Uh, yeah. please hold on a moment. I can't do this. You said it yourself. You want the promotion. Yeah, you heard what she said. Andy owns the inn. I thought you didn't care. I don't. Then it shouldn't matter. You're right. Unless you do care, in which case it matters a lot. Yes, I'm back. Okay, so shall I tell Mr. Holiday you're coming? Yes. Great, it's all settled then. Um, I will get you accommodations at the inn. Wait, at the inn? And please don't hesitate to call me if you have any other questions about your travel. You are not throwing away a promotion because you're scared to see an ex-boyfriend. She'll be there with bells on. Jingle bells. <laughs> Dashing through the snow. Uh, Jake, we're gonna need another galette over here. Maybe two. There's plenty more where that came from. Thank you. Oh, excuse me, duty calls. <laughs> okay. Garland in. What's up, son? Oh, hey, Dad, what's up? Claire just got off the phone with a real estate investment firm. Real estate investment? You're not thinking of closing up shop, are you? Goodness, no. They're interested in the inn. My inn? It's some Seattle big shot who thinks it'd be a good investment. I think it's a good investment. Even though you never have any guess? Sometimes I wonder how you can even afford the mortgage. Let me worry about that, okay, Dad? Look, son, you've done a really great job with that place. So great, in fact, that some big city money bags has come out of the woodwork to snatch it up. And I don't suppose Claire told Mr. Moneybags that the inn wasn't for sale? Andrew, you're not thinking big picture. This way, we can count our profits, and you can finally start training to take over the family business. You do intend to take over for me, don't you? I do. Someday, it's just, it would be nice to have accomplished something on my own first. Well, they're sending someone from their office to evaluate the property. Let them make an offer. It's the least you can do as a responsible businessman. Okay. Uh, I will consider it. You know, there's a nice corner office over here with my name on it. I know. <laughs> I know. Frank, you're late for the inventory meeting. Come on. Gotta run. Talk to you later. Okay. Bye, Dad. Bye, son. <laughs> More nog? Thank you for flying Glacier Airlines at Anchorage International Airport. Connecting flights to Juneau, Ketchikan, and Fairbanks during right Right? Nope. About how long is the drive? Uh, it's just about two hours. Oh. Not exactly tourist friendly, is it? Well, it used to be easier. Unfortunately, the town pilot sold his plane a couple years back. for Christmas, huh? <laughs> of course. In fact, around these parts, people start putting up their decorations right after Labor Day. Huh. You don't say. <laughs> Does uh, holiday shipping still bulk up their workforce this time of year? Well, it is Frank's busiest season. Mm-hmm. You seem to know quite a lot about this place. Oh, well, it's just some, uh, some research I did online. <laughs> Yeah, one question I couldn't find an answer to, though, was what exactly they ship. I mean, it seems that Frank is doing pretty well for him. Excuse me, Mr. Holiday is doing pretty well for himself. <laughs> yeah, little of this, little of that. But uh, mostly he just ships whatever the elves make. 
Oh, I get it, the elves. Cute. Is that why you guys like Christmas so much around here? <laughs> That's Garland for you. Erica McNichol, Claire Cullen. On behalf of Mr. Holiday, I'd like to welcome you to Garland, Alaska. Oh, thank you. I trust you had a good ride in? Oh, it was great, it was great. Martin gave me the grand tour. <laughs> Let me know if you need anything. Thank you. Taxi and printer. Yep, Garland Star, one of the first community papers in the county. You know, uh, a lot of us Garlanders wear two hats. Oh. Speaking of, uh, I hope you brought one or two for yourself. Jack Frost will be nipping at your nose in these parts. <laughs> and uh, maybe a pair of practical boots. First of all, <laughs> these are very expensive boots. Uh, but secondly, it won't really matter because I don't plan on staying very long. Yeah, that's what they all say. What's that? Hmm? Now, if you find yourself getting hungry, I recommend you go see Hattie over at the diner. She makes the finest sticky pudding you've ever tasted. Ah, let me guess. She'll bring it out here. <laughs> Where else would she bring it? We, you know, I meant like the. I, you know, never mind. Good to see you, Erica. Okay, I'll Bye. just grab this. Great, thank you. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. You can do this. It's just an old friend. Okay. All right. Oh, you got that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Come on in. All right. Good night. Oh, yeah. yeah. Beautiful. Okay. Um, uh, he's around here somewhere. Hmm. No. When in Rome. <laughs> Be right out. Oh, sorry. I'm just. Um, Ooh. I was just getting some. Uh, oh, uh, some more Christmas decorations. I was hoping to get them up before you got here. Okay. I'm sorry. Would you mind? Um, I. <laughs> Andy. I, my dad said you came all the way from Seattle. Andy. And I just can't. I, I'd like you to meet. Um, yeah. Here. Erica? Andy. Um, you're Mr. Moneybags? Uh, well, you're probably referring to my boss, and she would probably prefer Ms. Moneybags. Long time no see, huh? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Hi. Uh, you two know each other? We do, and my. I must say, the years have been kind. Oh, I could say the same for you. <laughs> uh, who would have thought my city-dwelling architect would blossom into a small-town mountain man? <laughs> and, and, I mean, not that, like, that, you, that you're mine, you know, hmm. or um, that mm -hmm. you're a mountain man, or it's a, You know, I don't know why I said that. Well, <laughs> I must say, you're the last person I expected to see in Garland, Alaska. Well... That makes two of us. <laughs> uh, however, my boss... Miss Moneybags. Mm, indeed. Is very interested in acquiring the inn as an investment property. Well, does she know, you know, that you and I... No. No? Okay. Well, that's fate. Why does everyone keep calling it that? What else would you call it? A, a coincidence? Yeah, I think fate has a little bit better ring to it. You know, whatever you want to call it. Um, your father's office has indicated they would be very receptive to an offer, so. What about you? What about me? Would you be receptive to an offer? Oh, most certainly. <laughs> I asked him. Okay. Yeah. Well, I told my dad that I'd hear you out, but honestly, I put my heart and soul into this place. I sold my plane to help finance it, so. But be honest, what do you think? Oh, it's, it's cozy and uh, very quiet. Well, that's because it's constantly underperforming the capacity. It what could... she's trying to say is that it picks up closer to Christmas? Well, okay, uh, well, look, Andy, if my boss wants something bad enough, I can guarantee she'll make it worth your while. I see. 
Sharon Ferris gets what Sharon Ferris wants. Sharon Ferris is your boss? You know her? I've read a couple of business magazines. Wow. Erica McNichol, you've done really well for yourself. And I'll be doing even better if we can come to an agreement on the inn. Ah, I see someone's been dangling carrots. No, oh, you know the routine. Oh, I know, reindeer food. Uh, he is, of course, joking. <laughs> uh, well, look, just, just hear me out, okay? Consider the offer. That's all I ask. All right, well, before I hand over the keys to everything I've been building for the last five years, um, can I at least show you to your room? Oh, please. Well, that is a very festive sweater. Yeah, my cousin Joy makes them. She works for my dad, and she says that knitting calms her nerves. And since this is the busy season, yes. Okay. Yeah, here we are. Right. Here we are. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Well, this is it. You made this, didn't you? Yeah, and the uh, barn doors into the bathroom and the side tables. Hmm. Slacker. <laughs> <laughs> um, you're probably going to want to keep the thermostat up high because it gets mm -hmm. chilly in here. And speaking of which, you did bring real boots, right? What is it about my boots? Relax, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> of course, well, uh, I guess if that's it, uh, Andy, be honest. Are you performing below capacity? It's gonna be fine. I promise. Have a good night. Thanks. Hey, lady. Guessing you made it safely? Yeah. It's like you knew I was freaking out with your crazy best friend, Sixth Sense. You found Andy. <laughs> and how's he look? I'm not dignifying that with a response. Ooh, so he looks good. And now I'm staying at his inn while trying to sell it out from underneath him. I mean, tell me, am I really supposed to build my career off of my ex-boyfriend's professional failing? I'm more of a glass half full kind of gal. Oh. You should see this place, though. I mean, it is beautiful. You can see him in every detail. But, you know, of course, he can't possibly make it what it could be or should be the way that Sharon could. Not with all her money and connections. Then tell him that. He doesn't want to sell. Listen, I know I've made a lot of jokes about you seeing Andy again. And taking a vacation. <laughs> but, honestly, you've been in a rut lately. Are you saying that 80-hour work weeks and a limited personal life are a bad way to live? I'm suggesting just be open. Open? To whatever comes your way. To the quietness of a small town. To one Christmas where you're actually not working. Well, two out of three ain't bad. Yeah, you know what? You're right. You're absolutely right. I mean, I'm already here. Might as well make the best of it. Now you're talking. Yeah. You know what I'm going to do? I am going to order some room service. I'm going to get a good night's sleep. And then I will start fresh again tomorrow. In Alaska. With Andy Holiday. That's my girl. Oh, thank you, my friend. Bye. Bye. Right. Oh, room service. Mm, let's see. Menu. Okay then. <sighs> oh, uh, oh. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. Hi. Hi. Uh, I was actually just about to head out and get some food and maybe some coffee. I'm dying for a cappuccino. Oh, yeah, there isn't a coffee shop for like 30 miles. Oh. But if it's food you want, Hattie's Diner's right around the corner. Oh, well, good to know. Yeah. I was gonna grab a bite. If you wanna join, we could, uh, we could catch up. Sure. Yeah, that'd be nice.
stranger. Welcome to Garland. Oh, Hattie, I presume? I'm guilty. <laughs> is that a Joy original? Of course. Oh, you were right. Joy is quite prolific. Hattie, this is my friend, Erica. Hi, Erica McNichol. Hi. Nice to meet you. Erica, it's good to see you again. Oh, it's Martin, the taxi driving publisher. <laughs> well, now that's catchy. I might have to borrow that one. Wait a second. The person coming to look into buying the inn is Erica McNichol from Seattle. Patty? Um, <laughs> remember what I said about small town life? <laughs> That's, That's Garland, Garland for you. <laughs> <laughs> now come, let's get you kids fed. All right, Erica, <laughs> lucky for you, you have come to the new and improved Hatties. Oh, well, it's still no espresso though, right? No, but we do have non-fat milk and both the pink and blue sugars. And now we're open for three squares a day. Instead of the 12 days of Christmas, now we've got the 12 nights of Christmas dinners. Ooh. Speaking of. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> what is it? Well, it's my soon to be famous yam and fruitcake casserole. Yam and fruitcake? Needs more peppermint? Mm -hmm. It needs more something? You know, I hear all of you city people eat a salads and you know, what's that <laughs> called? Pressured juices. Juice is not a meal. Now let's get you kids fed proper. Okay, so now <laughs> look at how modern we are. You can skim it or whatever they call it. Scan it. Yes, he helped me with the code thingy. The OC. QC. QR. That's right. Yeah. He was so patient helping me with all this high tech hullabaloo. Well, who could ever be impatient with you, Patty? Well, we're taking Garland into the future. Oh, well, I don't care where we are as long as I can order some uh, cocoa cornbread stuffing. Oh, that's really good. Coming right up. I like her already. actually really delicious. <laughs> yeah, Hattie basically feeds the whole town. Well, it's convenient for you, otherwise your operation would have to provide room service. We know your cooking's not exactly. Well, it's not exactly cocoa cornbread stuffing, but I'm not that bad, okay? I've never seen anyone make blackened scrambled eggs before. <laughs> and let's not forget your famous boxed macaroni and cheese. Oh. What's wrong with my mac and cheese? Uh, you do know that you're supposed to add the cheese powder after you boil and drain the macaroni, right? <laughs> hey, can you make a rocking chair out of old wood flooring? Hmm? Okay, okay, that's fair. I guess everyone has their talents. And that's exactly what I tell my dad every time he brings up me taking over for him. Well, seems like the business is running pretty well, although I am surprised they have such a successful shipping hub all the way up here. Yeah, well, uh, that's Garland for you. <laughs> Why did you decide to come back? I'm sorry, that wasn't a fair question. But it's not like you don't deserve an answer. I'm sure you had your reasons? To be honest, um, I'm not exactly sure. I just uh, thought we were happy in Seattle. I was. We were. Really? Well, kind of beat from all the travel today, so I think I'm gonna call it a day. Of course, yeah. You're not gonna come inside? Not just yet, I have somewhere to uh, go, so. Oh, okay. Well, uh, I'm gonna head in then, so it's good to see you again, Andy. You too. Right. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. So, Erica McNichol, huh? What? I'm on a group text with Hattie. <laughs> oh, come on. It's not like she came up here to see me. Her boss wants to make an offer on the inn, and Dad being Dad invited her up. That's all. You know how excited your father is to have you on board. He'd never say this to you, but it hurts his feelings that you don't want to work with him. He takes it personally. <laughs> Mom, it's not that I don't want to work with him ever. It's just, I just got the inn up and running. And my blog is building followers, mm -hmm. slowly. And besides, don't you think it'd be tough to 
settle down and build a life when you're running a business like that? It's just that I love you both so much. I want you to be happy, you and your father. But speaking of settling down, you have to tell me about Erica. Mom. Your first love shows up in Garland after all these years. Like I said, she came for work, not to see me. She's got a big job in Seattle that she's even more invested in now than when we, when I left. What we had, it's in the past. You sure about that? Uh, in room dining, no. Coffee shop nearby? Not for 30 miles. Mm. Oh. Sharon, hi. Uh, yeah, I was just busy here working on your valuation. Nice, how's it going? Getting any good information? Oh, well, you know, I I'm not sure what your expectations are, but this is a very small town, so I, I think the value is gonna be more, shall we say, uh, sentimental. Perfect. That's just what people are looking for these days. Are they ready to sell? It hasn't even been 24 hours. <laughs> you know what they say, Rome was built in a day. Um, yeah. Besides, that Frank guy seemed keen to sell. Oh, well, although he is the primary investor, the inn is actually owned by his son, Andy, uh, Andrew, and he's gonna take some convincing. And you're the perfect person to convince him. Sharon, you should know there are some extenuating circumstances. Yes, there is. You see, um, I mentioned your acquisition to the board. But my acquisition? And they were very excited about it. If we do this right, we could be the next Hilton or Marriott. And you, Erica, as the next VP of Ferris Lodging Group, could add it all up. What do you say? Uh, I... I guess I would say that sounds great. At a girl. And don't let this author guy. Andy, uh, Andrew. Stand in your way. Listen, I am late for a conference call on that new project in Dubai. Mm. I look forward to a very detailed report from you. Bye. <sighs> Ferris Lodging Group? I'm Ed. Oh, hi. I'm Erica. Nice yes. to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Gosh, everybody is so friendly around here. Oh, well, that's Garland for you. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, how are things with the inn? Excuse me? Oh, well, you know, you're the, uh, the real estate tycoon coming up here to, uh, kick the proverbial tires. Wow. These travels fast. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's Garland. Ah, uh, don't say it. Well, Andy sure has done a good job fixing up the old inn, hasn't he? Yeah. Uh, previous owners didn't have the energy or the funds, really. Mm. So Andy swooped in and restored it to its original glory. Yeah, it sounds like Andy. Yeah. Well, I'm sure he'll be a bit heartsick having to give it up. Hmm. And what makes you think he'd give it up? Well, no. Well, someday he's going to have to run the, uh, the family business. Oh, yeah. Well, in any case, I hope you find what you're looking for, and if what you're looking for just happens to be groceries, sporting goods, and the finest selection of premium outerwear in the greater metropolitan Garland area, you know where to come. Oh, and I also do light plumbing. Of course, right, two hats. <laughs> Is it with that? Ah, uh, never mind. Nice to meet you, Ed. You too. Ed. Okay. Soft scrambled with a side of hash browns. Thank you. Oh, before I forget, new item I'm working on for the menu. Ooh, wouldn't happen to be a cappuccino, would it? Even better, pork belly. Oh. Mm -hmm. Raised in eggnog. Mmm. Yum. Mm -hmm. So, Erica, how are you liking Garland so far? Uh, well, 
You know, I haven't seen too much of it yet, but what I've seen is really nice. And especially the inn. Oh, Andy's done a lovely job with it, hasn't he? Yeah. So why does his dad want to sell it? Oh, you know, the usual family drama. Frank wants Andy to take over the family business. Andy doesn't. Oh, right, right. The family business. Right. <laughs> Shipping whatever Santa's elves make. <laughs> Don't worry. Martin told me everything. <laughs> uh, uh, but seriously, what does he really do? Um, oh. <laughs> Martin, <laughs> good morning. We were just talking about you. Oh. About me? Mm-hmm. And how you told Erica all about Mr. Holiday and his elves. Yeah. Uh, uh... Did anyone ever tell you you take this whole Christmas thing a little too far? <laughs> ah! Miss Mayor, good morning, the usual. Uh, good morning, and you betcha. <laughs> Hi. You're not one of my constituents? Uh, no, Erica McNichol. Oh, the real estate developer. Well, more of an investor, really. And actually, it's my boss. I just hope whoever buys the inn maintains that homey, welcoming feel that Andy's created. <laughs> well, we certainly will. <laughs> uh, the last thing we need is some big hotel chain ruining the character of this town. Oh, I, I couldn't agree more. But uh, it does seem as though Garland could use a, a boost to its tourism. Am I wrong? Oh, I don't know. We like things quiet around here, don't we, Hattie? <laughs> and I understand, but just consider for a moment. What if we were able to brand Garland as a destination? Hmm? I mean, think about the impact that would have on your economy. Your guests would wander down here to Hattie's, have some lunch, go to the general store, purchase some souvenirs. You know, you might even attract a real coffee shop. Hmm? Again, it's just something to think about. In the meantime, I look forward to seeing you again. Anytime. Always enjoy meeting a new face. Yes. Thank you. All right. He might have been right about the boots. Hmm. Three smiley faces. It's got to be good, right? Mm. There. Ooh. What should I wish for, Oscar? What more do you need? Oh, <laughs> hey there. You guys out of towners? Thought I was the only one. Hi, I'm Alana, and this is Oscar. We're staying at the inn. Oh, me too. Erica. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Did Andy send you over here too for the magic mailbox? Magic mailbox? Mm -hmm. Yeah, see, whatever you put inside goes directly to Santa. Uh-huh. <laughs> I like to err on the side of faith myself. <laughs> Doesn't cost you anything to believe. And I personally would love to live in a world with a little magic in it. <laughs> Wouldn't you? Yeah. Okay. Bye. Nice to meet you. Joy? Ooh. Well, there she is. Hey. Hey. Oh, man. It is getting cold out there. Oh. Here. Oh, no. No, I wouldn't dream of taking this lovely gift away from you. I have five of these at home. Then thank you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that'll help. You know, if you need warmer clothes or, say, uh, boots, Haha. Ha. You could always go to the general store. You know, they have the finest selection of outerwear. Mm -hmm. in the Greater Metropolitan Metropol Garland area. Garland area, that's right. You, uh, you met Ed. I so. did. <laughs> oh, you know, they have these amazing jeans that are lined with sweatpant material. Oh, that sounds uh, horrible. Yeah, well, let's see who's laughing when they dig a frozen Erica sickle out of the snow. <laughs> True. <laughs> <sighs> yeah. Well, it's been kind of a long morning, so... Yeah. I'm gonna just head back to my room for a little bit. Sure. So, I'll see you later. Yeah. Nice scarf. Thank you. Her 
your previous email. Here are some pictures of Garland and the inn. Industrial oven, check. Four burners, check. Industrial fridge, come on those. Small sink. Oh, hey, so you're still wearing that scarf, huh? Okay, I got a little chilly. But some jeans lined with sweatpant material seems pretty good right about now, wouldn't you say? I would say that's garland for you. <laughs> you're learning. <laughs> Took me years. It's a little premature to be measuring the drapes, isn't it? Oh, this? Yeah. It's just some info that Sharon wanted for the valuation. And you know what Sharon Ferris wants. Sharon Ferris gets, mm -hmm. so I've heard. Are you hungry? I'm starving. Yeah, apologies in advance. Between my mom's house and Hattie's, there's next to nothing, so. Well, what are you talking about? You've got plenty of food here. Andy, I am not gonna let you eat cereal for dinner like a kid in a college dorm. Tell me you have a can opener, though. Oh, yes. Uh, perfect. Here, try that. Huh? What do you think? Well, it's not black and scrambled eggs, <laughs> but it'll have to do. <laughs> but seriously, when did you become so skilled in the kitchen? Well, you remember Stephanie? Sure. No? She finally opened her own restaurant. Oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. Any good? Oh, it's amazing. Learned quite a few things from her over the years. No, oh, good for her. But seriously, you really seem like you know what you're doing. Well, I learned there's only so much takeout or frozen food you can eat after a while. Even if you are just cooking for one. And are you? Cooking for one? Oh, I am. <laughs> what about you? Heard through the grapevine that you were dating some doctor in town or something? Yeah, uh, Lauren. Oh. Is that her name? Still is, I assume. We're not in touch. A big fellowship came her way uh, in the year that she was here, and she had to admit she couldn't commit long-term to Garland. Hmm. At least that's what I like to tell myself. I like to think I'm a decent boyfriend. Well, you're a pretty good boyfriend. <laughs> So. <laughs> Do you need to answer that? No, it's okay. Uh, finish telling me about uh, what... Is it work? Because we haven't really discussed. If you need to work, call him back. Well, that's the problem. Is I can't call her back because I don't have an answer to her question. Oh, which is? Are you going to sell the inn? Oh, that's right. Almost forgot that's why you're here. Yeah. And have you and your dad talked about it? Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah. I don't mean, has it come up? I mean, have you guys really discussed it? We're not uh, great at that, me and my dad, so. Well, I know we're just starting to run the numbers, but I also know Sharon pretty well, and you could walk away from this with a lot of money. Mm. Uh, ballpark? That's some ballpark. Yeah, and once I finish my research, it'll likely be more. But Andy, if you want me to back off, just say the word, okay? I can't promise Sharon won't send somebody in my place, but at least it won't be uh, complicated. Right. Hold on. It's Andy. Thanks, Joy. Mm -hmm. 
What's up, son? Well, um, Erica gave me a figure. Oh, and? And I think it would be irresponsible of me not to think about it. Sonny, you sure? Just give me a couple days. Okay. It's, uh, it's a lot to consider. Andy, just make sure you really think about it, okay? Because you've put a lot of work into this place. Wait, is that Erica? Hi, Mr. Holiday. It's so nice to finally meet you after all these years. It really is. You know, now I see why people are always joking about Frank and his elves. <laughs> Wait, who's always joking? Erica, we've heard so much about you. Oh, hi, Joy. You know, I have to tell you, your knitting skills are top notch. Oh, wow, looks like someone's got a sweater coming her way. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I hate to cut the short, but Frank and I have been burning the pine side of the candle at both ends these days. We have a holiday to deck spirits to make right, so. Right, right, of course, at the, uh, the shipping company. Okay, then, bye-bye, talk later. Bye, kids. Bye. Bye, guys. Finally, prodigal son will come on board. And interesting that he's spending more time with Erica, huh? Mm. Maybe more than one good thing could come from this. Maybe spirits will be even brighter this season. So, you uh, finally got to meet my dad. Yes, and the infamous cousin Joy. Oh yeah, yeah, she moved back to Garland about 10 years ago. She started working for my dad like half the town. She is, as she says, his right-hand cousin. Yes. Oh, well then, Garland's a good place for her. It is. You know what else it's a good place for? Hmm. Come on, follow me. I want to show you something. So, this is the observatory. <laughs> you built this? Well, I didn't build the silo, but uh, I did the conversion and installed the telescope. Wow, it is spectacular. <laughs> yeah, I had a hard time forgetting about you when I moved back. And so I found myself learning more and more about the stars and thinking, hey, at least we still share this. Go big or go home, right? <laughs> in Seattle have nothing on this. <laughs> oh, wait, is that? That bright one right there, is that? Is that Neptune? Let me see. Yeah. Pretty special. Especially because it's the only planet in the solar system you can't see with the naked eye. Ooh. It's also the coldest planet in the solar system. It's down to negative 360 degrees Fahrenheit. <laughs> Makes Alaska feel downright balmy. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Wow. Oh, oh. easy there. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. It's pretty cozy in here. Yeah, it is. But I kind of like it. Me too. Seriously, do you have some kind of kiss radar? I mean, what magic is this? I knew you two would rekindle things. One kiss does not a rekindling make. It's just, I, I don't know. The spark for a rekindling? Whether Sharon buys the inn or not, I'm leaving soon. You know, nothing has changed between Andy and I. <laughs> I still live in Seattle and he lives here. Mm. And maybe it was just, Closure? Mm-hmm. What's that supposed to mean? It means love knows no boundaries, Erica. And that includes state lines. Mm. Yeah. Ah. 
More notes for the boss? I, I can go inside if you'd rather be alone. Oh, no, 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 no. If, if you'd rather be alone, I can go inside. No, no, not at all. Oh, thank you for the boots. Oh, yeah, I couldn't let you go back to Seattle missing some toes. <laughs> Besides, uh, I should apologize. For what? I shouldn't have kissed you. Well, you weren't the only one there. But I, I don't think we should let it happen again. Yeah. Yeah. Is that because I was only a pretty good boyfriend? <laughs> Andy, in all honesty, you were a wonderful boyfriend. And yet, it always felt like you were hiding something. You know, like there was a, a wall between us and things unsaid. I, I couldn't quite explain it, but I could feel it. Is that uh, why you wouldn't consider long distance when I moved? My life was always in Seattle. And... Yours is here, in Garland. You know, you don't have to sell. Actually, I do. What do you mean? Erica, I don't, I don't know how to say this, but I'm broke. What? If I don't make some money and soon, I'm gonna lose this place. But you told Claire that things always pick up just before Christmas. I just said that so my dad wouldn't think I was a failure. Andy, you're not a failure. Yeah, but I'm not exactly a success, am I? Hmm. Christmas is six days away and things don't change. We're not gonna make it. You know, I'm gonna go take a little walk, I think. Break my new boots in, so. I'll see you later? Yeah. Okay. See you later. Morning, Hattie. The usual? Yep. I'm about as predictable as a sunrise, aren't I? Well, good thing I love a good sunrise. Sharon, hi. So how's it going up there in the North Pole? Oh, well, it's cold. <laughs> Uh, have you been getting all the reports I've been sending? Yes, and the team is crunching the numbers. The observatory seems delightful. And this author fellow. Andrew. Uh-huh. You know, if I didn't know any better, I'd say that you were quite fond of him. Oh, uh, what, what would make you say that? <laughs> he seems to be featured quite prominently in your notes. Oh, uh, well, I mean, he is the owner of the inn, so. Working the personal angle never hurts. Personal angle, yeah. Right. That a girl. Uh, look, Sharon, I, I promise I will call you back as soon as I have any updates, okay? Good. Just remember that Christmas is less than a week away, and I'm hoping to get a little more than coal. Bye for now. Coal. Erica, take a load off. Oh, thank you, Martin. Hi. Hi. So, is that the uh, head office? Yes, as a matter of fact, it was. And? Do you think the holidays are really gonna sell the end? Are you asking as a reporter? I'm asking as a friend. Mm. I don't know. And I know Andy has put so much work into the place. He did. And it's a shame it never really took off. I guess we're just a little too far out for tourists. I guess so. Well, whoever buys it, I hope they keep it just the way it is. Everyone should have the opportunity to appreciate the Christmas magic that Garland has to offer. Wait, what did you just say? We're a little too far out for tourists. No, the, the other part. Oh. Um, everyone should have the chance to appreciate the Christmas magic that Garland has to offer. Why? Yes. Yes. Oh, Martin, you're a genius. Back. So you don't think my Christmas decorations are adequate? Well, I just think that, you know, if Garland's gonna be all about Christmas, then the Garland Inn should be too. Okay. You, gotta, you gotta hit them with merriment and cheer right from the moment they walk in until they check out. Can't argue with that. 
Yeah. I, I think you got so involved in the renovations that, you know, you just didn't advertise soon enough. Or enough enough. Hmm. We need to invest in some search engine optimization. That way, people have an easier time finding you when they're researching Alaskan vacations. And more write-ups, definitely more write-ups. But, you know, in bigger and more widely distributed publications than the Garland Star and In Flight Magazine. Maybe we could link your blog to a bigger travel blog. See, here's the thing. The best marketing really doesn't sell the hotel, but it sells the location. Mm -hmm. So, you know, a, a hotel in New Orleans might sell uh, Mardi Gras or Jazz Fest. The hotels in Manhattan, they have partnerships with different Broadway theaters. You could sell Christmas. Why didn't I think of that? Yeah. First, we get them to Garland, and then we show them why you're the best place to stay. You mean the only place to stay? Mm. We need to up the ante. What do you mean? Christmas events for your guests. You mean all three of them? No. Maybe we could do a mixer. You know, invite some of the locals, have them post, share with friends. And that, that is how you get a clientele. Erica McNichol, you are a genius. <laughs> well, I know. Um, how about this? We do the mixer on the 23rd, and then in addition, a secret Santa gift exchange Christmas Eve. Oh, that is a great idea. Everyone puts their name in a hat, somebody picks it, and then they buy them a gift. Will you be here? Christmas Eve? Oh, uh... Just so I know whether to put your name in the hat or not. Well, I mean, you know, my travel plans are a little in flux right now, so... Uh -huh. Maybe. Probably. Let's do this. All right. Yes. All right. Here's where we're gonna start. The information. <laughs> Where are we going? We're, just don't you worry about that. This right. is a little bit further, okay? Okay. All right. I'm gonna trip. No, yeah, I promise you will not. You only have one black eye. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Andy, this would better be worth it. <laughs> oh, trust me. It is so worth it. Okay. All right. All right. Here we go. Can I take it off? Yeah, take it off. extra space, I thought, why not give Garland what it always needed? And best of all, we have an exclusive deal to sell premium pastries from the best bakery in town. Oh, well, it's also the only bakery in town, technically. Well, then it's a good thing I'm the best. And, drum roll, please. Erica McNichol, I would like to present to you the very first Garland Cappuccino. Oh boy. Mmm. <laughs> yeah. So you gonna note that down in your little clipboard thing? No, I think I'm actually just gonna enjoy the moment. Oh. Incredible. And that is how you build a clientele? Erica McNichol? You're a genius. Well, it's your hotel. Okay. So there. Oh, Claire, Carl, you're the first ones here. Oh, well, Joyce sent over these ties. And I just wanted to make sure you were festively attired at the start of this little soiree. That's from Joy. <laughs> well, I think I will say this for an even more festive occasion. Okay. okay. Uh, there's uh, mold wine, eggnog, plenty of snacks. Um, help yourselves. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah.
Nice tie. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Very nice dress. Thank you. What's wrong? Absolutely nothing. A woman like you in a dress like that, on a night like this, you deserve a proper escort. Why, thank you. <laughs> seem to be having quite the time together. Yeah, you know, I forgot how great you were. Andy's a real special guy. He deserves a real special woman. Yeah. You know, Andy lives here. I live in Seattle. We had our chance. It just seems a little too complicated now. Tell me, how did you manage to climb so high up in that company of yours? I worked hard. Exactly. You strike me as the type of person who, once she knows what she wants, she goes and gets it. After all, things seem a whole lot simpler once you simply make them a priority. Can I join you? Oh, absolutely. <sighs> you know, I have to say, if I lived here, this would be my favorite spot. Well, this in the observatory, of course. Yeah, those are my favorite spots, too. Were? I just have a feeling I won't enjoy them as much when I'm no longer able to share them with you. Andy. I'm serious, Eric. What, what if this is our second chance? And if it is, I don't want to throw it away. It's not that simple. When we were together, I had no idea you felt unimportant to me. And nothing could be further from the truth. Christmas story, The Gift of the Magi, where the wife sells her hair to buy her husband a watch chain, and then he sells his watch to buy his wife a hair comb. Yeah, but what, what does that have to do with us? Well, if you sell the inn to my boss, then I'll get the promotion that I've been working on for nearly a decade, but you'll lose something that's important to you, something you've worked for. Hmm. And if you decide you don't want to sell, then I probably won't get the promotion. And nobody wins. Yeah. Erica, your boss, Sharon, is on the phone. Oh. Oh, on my phone. Oh. Thank you, Claire. You're welcome. Erica. Sharon, I'm sorry I've been so unavailable. Claire, has anyone ever told you you have impeccable timing? They often do, yes. I need to think. I'm gonna... I'm gonna take a walk. Okay. Yeah. Fitness is important. <laughs> I am so sorry that I haven't called you back. I've just been really busy. Busy working on my Christmas present? Uh, I don't need to remind you that tomorrow's Christmas Eve. Oh, I know. So, I can trust that everything is going to work out. Well, it, you know, it's, it's complicated. Well, then let me uncomplicate it. Me, the proud new owner of the Garland Inn. You, my executive vice president. That was easy, wasn't it? 
Can I, can I call you back tomorrow? Something's wrong, isn't it? I can tell. It's not Arthur, is it? Andy? No. No, it's, it's just there's something I need to do. You have 24 hours. Everybody left? Well, you had yourself a real long walk. <laughs> yeah, I just needed to think. Oh, Hattie, don't worry about that. That's, that's not your job. Oh, this is nothing compared to the diner. Anything you want to talk about? It's from Erica. There does seem to be unfinished business between you two. Andy, I'm leaving for Seattle in the morning. I called your mom and I'm staying with her tonight. I think it's for the best. Erica. Yeah, she finished it. She checked out. What? Yeah. I really thought. I know, me too. We're just caught between a rock and a hard place, between the inn and a real estate deal, between Garland and Seattle, between the past and the present. Anyway, a slice at this relationship just wasn't meant to be, so. Oh. If you ask me, meant to be is what you make of it. Whether you make it happen or you don't, right? Holiday. Thank you so much for letting me stay. I just felt a little complicated staying at the inn. And I was not about to make Martin drive me all the way back to Anchorage at this hour. Honestly, I welcome the company. Frank is so busy this time of year. He gets lonely at our home. Mm. You know, you're welcome to stay as long as you'd like. Any friend of Andy's. Or are you more than friends? You know, honestly, I'm not really sure anymore. I'll set you up in the guest room. You make yourself at home. Thank you, Mrs. Holiday. Call me Faith. Faith. Um, this whole trip really turned into a gift of the Magi situation. A what now? You know that old Christmas story where the couple makes these big sacrifices and they give each other these really meaningful gifts, but in the end they wind up making the gifts meaningless? I'm still not following. Well, if I choose Andy, then I disappoint my boss and I lose my promotion. And if... I force Andy to sell and choose the job, then... He'll lose Andy. And he'll lose the inn. Exactly. So, I came and ran to his parents' house. I'm a mess. <laughs> you know, you totally missed the point of that story. How so? Love and selflessness. Those are the gifts that couple really gave one another. They gave of themselves, choosing one another over everything else. Maybe it's time to stop listening to your head and start listening to your heart. You make it sound so simple. Well, I think it's simpler than you think. Hey. It's me. <laughs> I know we haven't exactly talked lately. It's been a minute since I visited you at the Greenland Mall. But, uh, I was hoping maybe you could just help me out this one time. 
No matter what happens, please make sure that Andy gets this gift. He really deserves it. Happy Christmas Eve! Good morning, Hattie. Hold on. <clears throat> Two? Actually, one's for me. Oh. You know, uh, your visits are the best part of my day. Maybe we could plan one outside the diner? Oh, I, yes, I'd be honored. <laughs> Super duper. <laughs> Somebody's up early. And I had a meeting. Before breakfast? I needed Martin to notarize some documents for me. Is that about the sale of the inn? Yeah. You know, I, I actually handed off the account to a colleague of mine because it just didn't feel right making a commission off of Andy's dream. Mm -hmm. Maybe I shouldn't have come here at all. You know, this job was supposed to lock in a big promotion for me at work and and I'll be lucky if I have a job at all. Do you really think that one missed deal can undo years of hard work? By my boss's standards, I'm supposed to prioritize work above everything else in my life. And for the first time, I'm not doing that. You know, thank you, but um, I'm not really hungry right now. Actually, Erica, can you sit? And what's going on? There's a few things about our family I need to tell you. Things that maybe Andy was afraid to share. the thing. If I'm going to take over holiday shipping, it has to be on my terms. But I'm really ready. I mean, this job, your job is all about joy and magic, not obligation. Well, that's certainly an interesting way of putting it. And if you're concerned about your investment, I will make sure that you are paid back in full. I will I will take out loans. I'll do whatever it takes to get you paid back. That won't be necessary, Andrew. What, what do you mean? I know how much the end means to you. And I don't want you to have to worry about me. Really? This place was my dream, but the inn is yours. I realize that now. I guess I was just so concerned about what I wanted, I never really considered that maybe you'd want something different. Wow, Dad, that... It means a lot. Now I just have to figure out what to do about this company. Yeah, Dad, about that. Is this the final inventory, Frank? Mm -hmm. Hey there, cousin. Hey, Joy. Nice to see you, but I'm off. Gifts don't get under the trees by themselves now, do they? Dad, what I was going to say was, uh, yes, I think you should absolutely keep holiday shipping in the family. But does it have to be me when you have an even more enthusiastic and qualified candidate? Hmm, you mean? Think about it. She could run the day to day while you spend more time with mom, not to mention you could take even better care of yourself. It's really something to think about. Good. I'm glad. Oh, uh,. I gotta go. Uh, I have another fence to mend. <laughs> Good thing you like fixing things. And if I don't get to talk to you before tomorrow, Merry Christmas, Dad. Merry Christmas, Sandra.
to start the gift exchange. <laughs> well, everyone has pulled a name, and so now it's time for all you secret Santas to hand out those special presents. <laughs> Two presents, and what do you know? Andy, Erica, looks like you two picked <laughs> each other. <laughs> oh. Wow. Here we are. That's Garland for you. <laughs> What do you say we open these somewhere a little more private? Sure. So, you and my mom, huh? <laughs> yeah. You know, she filled me in on quite a few things about your family. But some of it I knew. Some of it was, uh, wow. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. It's a lot. But Santa Claus? I mean, your mom has a very active imagination. I know, right? <laughs> Good old mom. <laughs> <laughs> well, speaking of Santa Claus... Oh, yes. Uh, Merry Christmas. Oh, yeah. Uh, but, but before you open that, I just want to apologize. All these years, I thought it just wasn't the right time. Now I realize that with me running back to Garland, I never gave you a choice. Erica, you deserve so much more than just a pretty good boyfriend. And I want you to know how much I missed you all these years. And it's okay. No, it's okay. You, 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 oh, you open gift. Oh, open it up. Okay. What is this? I named a star after you. I know it's so cheesy, but hear me out, hear me out, okay? I just thought, no matter how far apart we are physically, we could always look up and see Erica. Andy. <laughs> Although I, you know, I have to admit, staring up at Erica from my dinky little telescope, my tiny city balcony will never remotely compare to this. Because mine is so much better. <laughs> well, <I> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which is why I'd much rather see it from here. What, what do you mean? Your turn. the article that changed it all. For both of us. I thought you could hang it up by the check-in desk since you're gonna be running this place for the foreseeable future. I will. But what about your boss? Well, I sent her a little email on the way over here tonight. Ms. Moneybags has been informed that the Garland Inn is not for sale. Which means... I quit. What? Erica, no! I, I, I mean, I, I appreciate everything you've done, but I, I don't want you to quit your job. No, I'm tired of living her life. I, and most importantly, I'm tired of missing out on all the wonderful things that life has to offer. Like, a town full of people who already feel like family. People like you. 
if you you'll still have me. Are you serious? It's never going to be the right time unless we just make time. Are you sure? It's such a big change. I mean, your whole life and your, your career. Well, then maybe you need to hire a director of marketing. <laughs> but what about everything from before? What if I'm never more than a a pretty good boyfriend? a wonderful boyfriend. I never should have left. I never should have let you go. Is this our second chance? I guess we have some lost time to make up for. I couldn't agree more. to your new girlfriend for Christmas. Uh-huh. Huh. Saturday, a simple request. I need to find the perfect gift. They don't call me the gift whisperer for nothing. Becomes a Christmas oh. in London oh. that's simply unforgettable. Will Kim, Resh Machete. It can take a lifetime to get to know someone. Sometimes all it really takes is one day. Jolly Good Christmas, all new, Saturday at 8 on Hallmark.